What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Real Madrid career mode. In today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is our first match under the England manager role. We are versing Poland, and then later in the episode, we have our, uh, what is it, quarterfinals, I was just trying to figure it out then in my head, quarterfinals of the Champions League against Manchester City. <clears throat> So this is the team I'm going with. Now, I can't um, call up any players at the moment because I did actually sign the contract for England and we're I think we're like halfway through the group, the group stage here. But we are playing against Poland. Now, this is the team I'm going with. I'm going with a 4-1-2-1-2. You're most welcome to pause and have a look. I think this is the strongest side, putting Wayne Rooney up front on the right with Daniel Sturridge, Adam Lallana in the camera. <clears throat> sorry about my voice, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Walcott and Sterling on the wings, and then we got Gerrard in the defense. Obviously, we got Danny Warbeck, Jack Wilshere on the bench. Like I didn't pick this squad. Uh, I didn't pick the players in the in this England squad at the moment. But I'm trying to make the best of my situation. <clears throat> England are currently three wins, three draws, and zero losses, and very much and the same as Poland. So this is actually a decent match. We really do need to win this match to get top two. Russia are currently the top of the table. But uh, we do have a Champions League match against Manchester City. So we got drawn against Manchester City in the quarters, which is really quite big. Um, Poland get off to a good side here just before the 70th, uh, the 20th minute. Uh, Blazikowski or Blazikowski ended up making it 1-0. We did have a shot here with Wayne Rooney. And it was, good to, it was good to be playing with Wayne Rooney, not in a Man United shirt. Um, but my plan for... Um, my plan for international management... Real Madrid is going to be my main focus for this career mode. Like I said, I'm going to be playing the first match, which I obviously am doing now. But I'm, I most likely will sim most of the matches. If there's an important match and I, I want to play it, I will. But if not, I just will simulate it um, until we get into the World Cup. But uh, if you guys would like to see a a um, an international career mode, because they did do an Italian one, like I wholly, wholly and solely focused that on FIFA 15. But we did manage to bring one back in the form of Walker. Obviously, with a 4 one 2 one 2 formation, I'm usually used to a 3-5-2 formation. And I'm not used to all of these players except for Wayne Rooney. Um, <clears throat> we only managed to go 1-1 just before halftime. But what a shot here from Gerrard on the volley from the corner. Tries to get the equaliser, but we end up drawing against Poland. Which I think is a fair result. Poland have a very solid, uh, a solid team. Robert Lewandowski... Um, that Dortmund right back, Pischek. Um, but we do have a simulation match here against Ireland, and we will be simming this. Uh, like simming matches like this, it would be cool. Versing in uh, Ireland just for the, like the the rivalry. But uh, we do start off here. Like Ireland have a, a solid team as well. Obviously, their five star skiller McGeady, Shane Long's pretty solid as well. But guys, just quickly recap the last episode. We end up winning two. We end up sorry. We end up losing two one to Barcelona in the El Clasico. Adam Lallana there just picking up his first goal of the campaign in the 51st minute. Terry Jack Wilshere and Defoe ends up coming off the bench, but uh, we end up winning four nil against Schalke. At Schalke, we only won one nil, and then we end up progressing five nil on aggregate. And we've been drawn against Manchester City. In the finals, so you're most welcome to pause and have a look at the table because it's quite interesting. Bayern Munich have Roma, um, but yeah, like you said, you, um, you're most welcome to pause and have a look at that. Cristiano Ronaldo is currently the top goal scorer of the Champions League now, followed by the fourth uh, player in the top in the top five, top four of the Champions League is uh, Muller. Thomas Muller is actually fourth, which is quite surprising, since we've been only playing him as like a squad rotational player. He did pick up a couple of goals. In the last uh, last couple of uh, last episode, um, and so did Goethe. He picked up two. I think Muller picked up one. So that's probably why he's up there. Chelsea have Barca and uh, Arsenal have CSK of Moscow. But James Rodriguez on the ball here starts off the scoring. What a goal from the Colombian Rodriguez! Fantastic player, and uh, Sergio Aguero manages to find him. Look at this nice little weight nutmegs um, company and. Uh, it was a solid say. It was a solid shot with his right foot, even though he is a left footer. To start us off a one now, Edison Cavani, who could have quite, he could have quite possibly been coming to the Bernabeu, I ended up signing um, 
uh, Muller over him anyway. But Sergio Aguero makes it 2-0 against his former side. Now, speaking of players versing their former side, Pepe is actually playing for them. And uh, as you see him there in the centre-back row, he's marking Ronaldo. But Sergio Aguero scored against his former club to make it 2-0. And uh, Cristiano Ronaldo steps up for the free kick. And... Goes over the bar. <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm slowly getting better at free kicks, but I'm still horrendous at them. Dzeko has a shot at Leno, but the shot gets parried, and Edison Cavani didn't manage to get there. Cristiano Ronaldo with the shot. That was an absolute cracking shot against Joe Hart. But I don't know what I was doing there with Leno, just trying to... I, I don't know why I didn't clear it, but um, Cavani with the run of play absolutely bolsters past uh, Leno and makes it 2-1 Manchester City's way. Now from kickoff here, this is uh, this is a absolutely ridiculous goal. Goetze manages to break free and absolutely buries this into the top right. Now I it like <laughs> I have no idea how I even scored that, but that is a fantastic goal. Now let me know in the comment section down below which I can see a top five goals of the season because uh, Goetze. I even show like another point of view angle. The Manchester City. Um, Def oh, the player like stuck his leg out trying to get Goethe the first player but I just I just felt confident to shoot and Goethe scores an absolute cracker and uh, we've been using him as a squad rotational player maybe that's his stand to hopefully get into the first team but a fantastic goal from Mario Goethe there but if we would do a top five goals of the season I'll probably it'd probably be more relevant to the end of the season but this is just the perspective I wanted to get this shot in look goes with the slide tackle misses uncontested Top right-hand corner from Goethe. That is absolutely awesome. But uh, that was not... That could quite possibly not be the only goal that we scored from then on. But uh, we do get up on the header. But what a save by Silva on the goal line. We end up winning 3-1 over Manchester City and scoring the goal of the season. That really did punish Joe Hart, the Englishman. Oh, obviously was disappointed because we just took up the England role and he let a howler in like that. But uh, nevertheless, guys, thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video support my channel. I'll be bringing out more uh, Real Madrid career mode very shortly. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.